I love TCG Player because it has the best prices. And when I mean the best prices, I mean the funniest prices, right? Because right now it is the perfect time when everything is not working correctly, stuff is getting lost, not everyone has product, the prices should be ridiculously funny. All right, so today we're gonna go through a few stuff. We're gonna go through the new set and we're also going through some old sets, some stuff in V, some stuff in premium. We're gonna have some laughs. We're gonna have some shockers. Yes, that's what we're going to do. But firstly, let's take a look at Yute, which is the Japanese site and look at Japanese singles to kind of get a look at what is uh, maybe supposed to be the proper price, right? So here, you can see we're looking at DSR prices, 10,000 yen. Remember, Yute is just slightly more expensive than local shop prices. So you can kind of look at these and probably minus like a K or two, 2K yen or something like that. And that's probably like a more realistic price. Uh, but yeah, let's kind of just look at the Yute prices because I can guarantee you the TCG ones will be way more cooler. All right, so yeah, first off, we've got Kirito. Kirito, uh, Kirito we have like 10K, right? And then the other one is the, the Nirvana, Maha Nirvana is like 18K. But the second printing, so if you got the first printing of Nirvana, you got gypped, right? Because cross-dressing you here is basically just double your price, right? Pretty insane. Uh, we I don't know when we're going to get this print, but I'm, I'm actually kind of interested to see if this will be the same, right? Does the West like cross-dressing you more or old school you, right? Um, and then we look at the SSR prices. Surprisingly, the SSR prices, all of them are cheaper than cross-dressing you, right? Pretty crazy. Uh, we just have the, we've got two of them at 30K pretty much. So Pure Light and Nirvana, oh no, actually three, sorry, three of them. So basically the most meta of the lot at uh, 30K. So Magnolia, Pure Light and Nirvana. Uh, but then Bastion is better than Bruce is looking like, but Bruce is getting better local tops at least. So it's kind of funny to see, but I guess less people like, uh, people like the Knight more than the football player, all right? At least in Japan, all right? And then SP prices, uh, ooh, Trick Moon is 3k? It's actually 3k. Pure Light's dominating everything, it seems. 4k for Pure Light. Um, Nirvana is like 3k, alright. Swirler is like uh, 1500. Uh, Bruce is 2k. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, anything else that's, that stands out? Uh, this is the, uh, this is the extra equip for, uh, Bavsagra. That's at 980. That's not bad. It's not bad. Actually, where is Bavsagra? Isn't, isn't she an SP? Is she an SP? Okay, she said, oh, sick, oh, actually, no, Pure Light, only 4K, Bav Sabra, 6K, wow, 6K, uh, one point for the sword, and then the shield is only 980, but you need, like, more swords than shields, right, but, Bav Sabra taking a home, the draw triggers are pretty expensive too, right, Th around 3K for the popular ones, 2.5 for the not popular, 4K, 4K for the, oh, 4K for the Magnolia, wow, that is huge, yeah, anything else, anything else that stands out, nothing really, a Shadow Army Token's 1.8. And I guess the Hal Hazard is like one. So yeah, the, the token's actually pretty expensive. And surprisingly, the Hell, Hell Blast is only 500, 500 yen. So that's pretty crazy. And then when we look at the rares, they're all pretty reasonably priced, right? Uh, we got, you know, if you got Babetsu, then tough luck. Feels bad. Uh, Pure Light 1.8. Nirvana 1.5. Uh, Trick Moon also, I'm surprised Trick Moon is that expensive. Magnolia Elder is only 500, but you you need like a lot of it. This is like the, probably the most, I think this is more meta than Pure Light, but Pure Light is like just way more expensive in terms of the triple R. That's interesting. Inlet Pulse is more expensive than Elder? Wow. Wow, that is interesting. That is interesting. Anyway, that is just all the reasonable Japanese prices we have. Let's kind of look at the English prices where everything should be a mess. So we sorted everything by uh, highest to lowest price. Uh, pure, basically all the SSRs are sold out, right? And Pure Light being like the most meta out of all of them. Uh, she's sitting at 350. All of these, yeah, all of them sold out. Pure Light, Bastion being pretty high too. Uh, then comes the Nirvana, then Bruce. Then we actually have the DSR. The DSR at 150, 150-ish. Esperalda as well. Um, the lowest of each are pretty much the same, right? Uh, Bav Saga is just like 50 bucks, but sold out, right? So I guess everyone's, everyone wanting the Bavs, right? Uh, Magnolia, is there no Magnolia Elder sign? What, what happened to that? Does it just not exist? 
the booster box uh, oh that's a case right i was like one one k for a for a booster box is crazy yeah is this just no magnolia elder am i am i am my eyes deceiving me right um just going through the sps uh the draw triggers 30 36 lowest is like 25 okay um then we got the the grade two of bab saga is like around 35 ish and then you know basically all the bab saga support at least the sp level seems to be quite high all right draw triggers are high as expected bastion surprisingly high too is just like just feels like yeah it, does does the west just like bastion a lot it just it's more than it's more than sp more than sp princess though i like there's more there's more listings for this now so i'm guessing that's not going to be the case it's not going to stick uh nirvana 32 right that's just around pretty equal there um 20 cent 33 yeah, the draw trigger is in the pulse at 32. Okay, all right, that's interesting. Trick moon, trick moon. So all the SPs are reasonably. Condensation is 28 bucks. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. So if you pull draw trigger, you're basically draw trigger. Of course, it's a trigger, right? Always, always worth it. Always worth it. Uh, oh wow, this shadow. Look at this shadow army. It is 24 bucks, but it is for the lowest pricing is 44. So people are buying this out like crazy, right? Uh, bear in mind. This is like not shipping anywhere because it doesn't ship to Australia, which is which makes this even funnier. Uh, the draw trigger for draw trigger as well is just sold out. This one's fully sold out. Spiral is sitting at a nice around twenty three bucks. Sword sold out. Okay, and then in terms of I guess we're hitting to like the triple R prices now. So uh, pure light around like twenty bucks. It's like not bad, just under twenty bucks. Uh, Nirvana, you know Nirvana's like seventeen. SP SP Virena. Wow. Okay. So several of these SPs. Like so, the Swirler at seventeen thirty three for the SP is is not a bad deal, right? This is basically like a four of an order deck. So if you guys want Swirlers, easy. Should probably just get this. Um, the Spear is also sold out. Wow. So so Babs Babs is just proving to be very popular, man. Very popular. These are like the the poor the, the weak SPs. Which are like Kojimi, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I'm I'm guessing. Oh, with Hellblast is only five bucks for the SP. Are you for real? I feel, it's sold out, so I'm assuming people have picked up on this. Esperal only four bucks as well. That doesn't sound right, man. Is it doesn't sound right? That actually doesn't sound right. I mean, it's actually crazy that these draw triggers are like two dollars each. They're only a rare. They're actually just only a rare. They're probably ex more expensive than a lot of double R's, which is pretty insane, right? Okay. Let's go to the fourth page. I think we're, ne we're nearing like rock bottom now. Yeah, so draw triggers more than... Oh, what? That's the world original, right? The world original is only a dollar? Ooh. That's, uh, that's painful. That is painful. We cracked quite a lot of these yesterday. So, uh, one dollar world original. Uh, I think you might as well keep it at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, these draw triggers. Okay, okay. I think we've we've reached the end of this. I'm just interested. Where is Magnolia Elder? The sh Were there just nothing for it? Magnolia Elder? It feels like it's kind of screwed. Okay, so okay, right, here we go. So so SSR two fifty nine. Oh, Elder SP is like twenty three. But that's actually these prices are lower than I expected. At least these two, right? Because we're talking about the meta deck right now. We're talking about issues with logistics and people not getting the cards so these are these being cheap that doesn't sound right that actually just doesn't sound right all right that, that's it let's kind of move on I'm, let's kind of look at set one i want to look at d set one because d set one has staples that people might need right now and are missing so let's go check that one out okay so as expected some of these sps are still quite like dsr 1 139 like you definitely need trick stars right definitely need trick stars so this is going to stay high dsr nirvana at 84 bucks is pretty interesting all right 84 um but these over trigger sps are relatively okay are they like 30 and 39 for like an over i think these haven't really gone down in price maybe they've gone up a bit um but this one, this Null Guard is just sold out. This Perfect Guard is sold out. Orph is sitting still at like 30 bucks SP is pretty good. It's pretty good money. Um, oh, but wow. Why is this, this over trigger, the Dragon Emperor, Empire one is like 24 for like just the OG one. That's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. There's like a lot of them. A lot of them are just sitting at 22. I remember these went down in price quite a bit, right? So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, Barrow Magnus is just sold out. Sold out because... It's like super meta now. 
Um, but now we're kind of moving out of the SP range, right? Out of the SP range. So here, like, over-trigger again, $15, $15-ish. $15 um, for kind of Stoikea being meta. Brandgate at 15 um, and then Amata Noah at 14 So I I'm guessing that's the reason. I wonder I'm wondering how much the PGs are. Uh, the, the PGs should retain their value, right? Um, so Buckler, okay, so, so the Dragon Empire one is 8 bucks. This actually got reprinted, right? So this should be like, uh, this should be lower. But then we're looking at like a lot of these PGs still being around $5. So Dark States, there we go. Um, Stoikea, and then Brandgate as well. All around $5. That $5 mark for a PG is basically what we're looking at. Burble Mean really dropped in price. It's like $6.00. Six-ish, but there's like it's, it's the lowest is eight. Yeah, wow. Alden is like now five dollars. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, and then I think the last PG. What is the? How much is the last PG? Aegis Mare is the cheapest. I can kind of understand that. All right, it's like four. Okay. Oh, so here's another one. Another twin buckler. So this is like the multiple twin bucklers, right? So this is more more looking like a four dollar thing. Uh, actually, wait. There's a lot of there's a lot of PGs. What's with these? Oh no, these are the hollows. Okay, the hollows. So the hollows are slightly more expensive. The hollows are around five dollars, but then the non-hollows are still around five dollars. This is like three bucks, but I can easily I can easily sell see people sell this for five dollars. Just like if you go to the shop, I want a PG. Five bucks, right? Five bucks. Like, what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna no? I'm gonna wait for a TCG player. Um, I doubt that's gonna happen. I doubt that's gonna happen. So, yeah, okay. So so PGs being around five dollars, and then. But the hollow ones, yeah, this is the hollow. So hollow one being around five, and uh, I get, if you guys really like hollows, you can wait, right? You can just wait, you know. But mm. all right, interesting. All right, let's kind of. I want to see how well like set two and three also have like stayed relevant, or if they haven't, have they just like tanked in price? Let, let's let's take a look. Set three, we're looking at this one first. Just kind of got released during B BRO, right? Uh, so people would have really wanted some of the cards, but then again, like when we think of these older sets, they're not really that crazy cool, right? But yeah, let's kind of look at it. So, uh, you know, DSR is still quite expensive. Sure, that's expected. The crit triggers are also quite big, right? $40, $40 for the Dragon Empire one is pretty insane, right? But then it kind of drops off really quick. Like, like the, the Neatness Media Shower SP, 20, 28 bucks market price, but there's a lot at like, what? There's the stuff at 18 being sold at 18 for the SP. So. I guess it's not too bad. You need like less medias now, so that's a plus. Um, and then Nordling is just sold out. It's like it used to be twenty-one bucks, but it's sold out. And then the rest is just pretty much the critical triggers. A lot of things are actually sold out, out of stock. That's actually surprising, right? Lagrill is all like eighteen, seventeen, seventeen bucks. Uh, Shimina as well. Derek is thirteen dollars. Okay. Um, apart from that, the rest after this, the prices kind of just drop down pretty big big time right all these if it, it's if you're not an sp you're probably it's probably just really tanky in price like absolutely nothing like five dollars for a crit okay is this a that's not even a hollow crit right it's just a crit were these even hollow hmm? i guess yeah no these are just like okay so i'm pretty the these this is like three dollars three oh, expect a three dollars wow um cuff princess hollow is three dollars too <laughs> I guess, well, I, I guess she, like, this, this set is so tangy. Like, we're already entering, like, the $2 range. It's actually in, insane. Uh, Prayer of Resonating Wishes Hollow. <laughs> oh, wow. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Okay, we also have set two. Uh, again, DSRs. Oh, the Bastion one's actually, like, $199? $199 for both of them? That's, that's interesting. Uh, the front triggers are pretty much the most important, and we have them at, like, 20, 26. So all of the front triggers are really sold out. Uh, they're basically like 25. So if you, I think if you're SP fronts, you, you may be plus. Uh, Blast the Dark. So this is like $25 for the SP. People are like preparing themselves to set five already. Uh, same like the Dragonic, Dragonic Overlord and Phantom. The, these uh, all sold out as well. All right. All sold out for the SP. Um, Tagashi Rashi is, well, I guess the SP is like 10 bucks. Leonard's around 15. Yeah. Okay. All right. So th this set is pretty much tanked pretty badly uh turquoise at eight dollars though i think this was high before 100 percent uh not too sure um javelin sp6 yeah so oh the front trigger is at five dollars still 
So this is just a this is a hollow it's a hollow front trigger is at five bucks. Um so yeah, okay, hollow stuff still five bucks. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, this is like a normal rare, right? Eclipse Moonlight Holly, yeah. I think this is just basically tank prices. Um okay. And then let's kind of take a quick look at like Lyrical Monastery as well. Uh, is anyone preparing for Lyrical? Set 2? Uh, so far the reveals haven't been that cool, so I don't know, but we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, here's like the Lyrical stuff. All the high rarity stuff is still pretty expensive, I guess. Well, at least sold out. Pretty hard to get, I guess. Um, wow, well, Lister's actually sold out? Crazy. Yeah. Uh, Lauren Roll is like, SP is like 30 bucks. All the SP orders, nice. Over Trigger 22. Um... The one, the, the bunny girl, the bunny girl SP, uh, Nolgard, $20, $20 or, or 16 ish. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy, right? So this one is, the bunny girl is better than the, the were beast or the war beast, right? Yeah, that's the most expensive Nol. So clearly the preferences are shown. Um, how, what's third place? What's third place? So third place is the angel SP, SP, okay. Um, and then... Even the over triggers, right? The angel is more expensive than the the Macross one. Uh, this one's just the, this one's like the it's just the the vanilla the vanilla how'd you say the vanilla um mermaid. Oh, she's be actually better than the the Kaicho though. Wow, no one likes glasses. Is that is that how it is? Not by but this one's sold out. There, there was some demand for it. People just buying it out. Uh, and then the what the goth girl less than the cat girl, right? That's how the over trigger works. Oh, so the angel, the angel is like really strong. Angel over trigger is very, very strong. And then are we, but I, I'm pretty sure all the triple R's now are just going to be dumpster fire. Literal dumpster fire. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're heading, we're heading to bad territory. So that, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. All right. That's enough of, that's enough of overdress for now. Um, unfortunately, TCG player does not have the promos up. I think I tried searching for them. I couldn't find a Macarite and Empix, that's basically the ones we want to look at. But I have I've thought of another way. Right, we're gonna look at eBay for that, but we'll look at it at the end. Right at the end. Let's kind of look at some let's kind of look at some of the uh, the V stuff right now, because uh V, you know, the reverse stuff is coming out soon. There was a lot there was quite a decent amount of hype behind that, but has it died off now that we realized V is just Prism Prism Dex? Again, right? Let's kind of take a look and take a look at some of the just just the overall V stuff. Okay, we've got Divine Lightning Radiance here. Uh, Divine Light Ra Lightning Radiance is like pretty pretty meta, I think. Probably the the most stacked booster box out of every single uh, thing back in V, right? And we can see some of the SPs are still quite decent, like hundred bucks for Yggdrasil, right? Fifty for Norn sold out. Like a lot of some of these cards are definitely played in premiums as well, and if quite a few of them didn't get any reprints. Uh, so it's, it'll be interesting to see how much they are, or if people are just sick of V as well. Hamiel's like $40, Percival's like 80 70 market with 80 lowest? Wow, okay, alright. Um, Gabriel around the 30 mark as well. Yeah, Percival, just the OG Percival is like around $10, $14, 10-ish, 14-ish, I guess. Um, so pretty, pretty crazy. The prices aren't as bad as I thought they'd be. I remember like pre, pre BRO, some of the prices were insane. Um, cause we didn't actually get Divine Lightning Radiance, so, uh, we're missing quite a few cards. Like all the grade three searches, of course, dropped in price because they re got reprinted. But I'm really surprised these VRs are still staying around, like, actually gotten lower. I'm guessing people just don't, don't want to play V? Is that it? How it is? They're sick of, are they anticipating it getting banned? Right, like Yggdrasil is only like eight dollars, ten, ten dollars, ten ish. I can easily pick a couple of these up, though I can't because I can't buy from TCG Play right now because they don't ship to Australia. All right, Jaff Kill. I remember Jaff Kill's like was really expensive, right? But after reprint, really cheap, yeah. So yeah, I think okay, Divine Lightning Radiance feels like the prices. Some of the prices in there have definitely gone down. Like Aglavale reprint, All right? Crazy. Uh, wow, yeah, all these triple R's are really cheap. Oh, is it is it time? Is it time? All right, here's Cocutus. Uh, pretty pretty bad price, right? Because the card, the reverse unit, is pretty pretty bad, to be honest. Um, this is like five dollars for a Cocutus. Probably the highest it's ever been, though. I'm not too sure. Maybe we can take a quick look, right? Has the price for Cocutus ever been more than five dollars? Because Grambler has never been great in V. Right. It's actually it's actually quite high, right? In a three month three months. 
Yeah? Yeah, it's not it's not too bad. At some point it was a dollar, now it's five dollars. So okay, that's that's pretty good for Kikutis, right? It's pretty good for Kikutis. Here we have Himiko. Right, remember Himiko? This is $25 sold out. This price is nearing the SVR price. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we can quickly take a look at this. It's just steadily gone up. S steadily gone up. Remember, like, let's go back a whole year, right? A whole year. Um, so remember, this could be played in, like, Himiko Regali and things like that as well. So I, it was sitting at, like, 10 for ages. But then after certain, certain, certain announcements, it's gone to 25 USD for Himiko. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I think Himiko is one of the better ones. Better reverse units coming out, so... Wow. Feels bad if you don't have Himikos, man. <laughs> okay, we have Cecilia as well. Um, a lot of the Cecilia stuff just fully sold out. Look at all the different rarities of V Cecilia. And the just the triple R as well. Is sitting at like 20, 27 bucks, probably going up. Cecilia is also one of the better reverse units, and also one of the better looking cards overall. Like I, I, I have some of these. I have this old stride. It looks amazing, right? But look at this, twenty seven dollars. This card is basically filler as well. She offers really nothing except the name to the reverse to the reverse deck. But this is like twenty seven dollars. Look at how. Look at the prices, man. Literally garbage. Right, four dollars, four dollars. At some point, went to ten. Right? Oh, it just keeps on going up. If you bought like reverses, oh, I mean, if you bought this is silly like ages ago, just hang on to them. You're probably making bank right now, right? Literally, can flip them for like, like five, six times the price, seven times the price even. You could probably sell them for more even. Like that's. That's actually insane, man. <laughs> Cecilia, wow. Maelstrom, always high for no reason at all. Um, and we can see Maelstrom here is sitting at like $24 sold out. 24 ish sold out. Um, it's like 140. The ASR is 140 nearly. Wow, Glory is 140. SVR is like $30 sold out as well. For some reason, the Glory is very cheap, right? Glory is very. Why? Uh, Maelstrom? Dude, it actually tanked in price. Look at this. Look at look at the. It used to be higher at some point. It used to be twenty seven dollars a year ago, and then it dropped in price, and then it went up again. Right recently, when they revealed Maelstrom Reverse, the actual unit, they're like, wow, let's go up. Wow, but the lowest it's ever been is seventeen dollars. No, 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 seven. Yeah, no, still seventeen. Wow, what the? What is up with Maelstrom? What? <laughs> oh, I've got a, I've got a look, I got a look for, for I've got a look for Great Dayusha as well, right? Oh, let's go, let's look at it later. Let's, let's look, no, let's look at it now. Great Dayusha, hell yeah, dude. This was always expensive, right? Whoa, what the? 30, 30 bucks, thirty bucks. What the heck? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I always have to check this one. You always have to check this one because this one's always expensive, right? Always. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Feels bad being a Dimension Police player, dude. All right, look at this Hyaki Rogue price, man. Absolutely crap. No one, no one cares about Murakuma confirmed. Wow, look at Magatsu Storm and Magatsu Gale. The SP is like $50? Nearing 50 bucks? Are you for real? <laughs> Vigatsu Gale SP? Wow. But look at this Vigatsu Storm price. The lowest right now is like $16. I think it's been like a one cent triple R, right? Like, look at. Look, oh, it's actually. I guess you can use it in premium, but it's been like $2. Oh, it's dropped down to like one buck at the lowest. One buck in September, then bam, reverse units gets announced. Just keeps on going up. Crazy! You would have 15. You probably would have 15x if you had Megatsu Megatsu Storms. All right, 15x, dude. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with these prices for Laqueer? SP old Laqueer is like 80 dollars. What? Dude, all these cards are not even the V V version. They're not even the V version. They're just like all SPs. What the hell? Hey, this is the first V. The SVR is like $60 right now. 
and then the OG is 33 sold out. Venus is still like at, at 16, but that's definitely kind of gone up in price, I think. But this one is 32. What? It was more expensive at some point. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this increase. 17. This was at 17 before as well. What? And it's just doubled. It's nearly doubled in price. That's insane. It's insane. Was the SV how what was the SVR one like? Oh, I've got to see this. Liqui look at this liquid tax, dude. So a year ago, about a year ago, it was like not as bad. Alright, it was, it was 36, but now it's kind of well, it's 41. But there's like literally only one listing. Okay, let's spice it up with uh premium, right? So uh we just let's start off with revival selection. Um overall the SP seem to be really still okay, but pretty cheap overall. Just pretty cheap. Um like similar like sim oh. Bearlock, Bearlock, 25 bucks. But after that, after the SPs, I think everything is just going to be tanking in price, right? If it's not SP, just GTFO, yeah? Like, look at these. These are all, like, super cheap. So, I guess entering premium is pretty easy. Shouldn't be hard at all. Like, oh, Kelsbreaker Deluge. Like, not even dollar. Not even a dollar. Premium Collection 2019. The most broken premium collection out of all of them. Uh, toppest card being Balan Arena. 90 bucks. Which is pretty expected. Then comes Gilgal. Then, like, the rest, right? No one cares about the rest. But actually, quite surprising. Um, Dark Lord Princess is only $20. And the SVR, well, the hot stamp one is, like, 25 ish Right? Being the lowest. That's actually crazy, right? I thought this would actually be a bit more expensive. So, if you guys want to get, like, Pale Moon, I think, probably a good time to get it. And then after that, we've got, like, Nibiros. Okay, Nibiros, then Gridora Hot Stamp. Wow, okay, that's that's pretty that's pretty insane. These prices are actually slightly better than I expected them to be. I thought they like I guess there's like no tournaments right now, so pretty good. Morfessa got a reprint right, so that's probably why it's gone down. Um, but apart from this, I think the rest of this should be relatively okay. There's like busted values. Oh, big a uh, big Obadiah is only like six bucks. Crazy. Yeah, and then the crit triggers. Here comes the crit triggers. I actually thought these crit triggers would be more expensive, but then again, they are technically getting a reprint. Um, so these prices technically are still like better, better than expected, right? Like four-ish, four-ish dollars, five-ish dollars. Um, so I guess they're not like the best. They're not the best crit triggers. This is just like the plus 10k, right? I'm, I'm thinking like later on, um, the stride crit triggers will be better. Yeah, these these price actually not bad. These, these prices are not bad, so 2020 so always makes no sense. Because Crystal Luster Dragon is always the top, right? And Royal Paladin's not even good. That's the crazy thing. Like $40 for Crystal Luster SR. And then pretty much 38 or 35. 35-ish, right? For just the normal rare. Is pretty insanity, right? Who who plays Royals in premium? Right, and then Jew Magla, like Jew Maglas being very expensive and Stunverse being expensive is of course expected, right? Because Jew Maglas carries the deck. Uh, Stunverse is also the, the Narukami deck, and it's also sold out. Okay. So these could be higher, but they're just sold out at the moment. Um, Cyclone, 13 dot okay. Um, Big Bounty, the SP, is only this high? I feel like Big Bounty should be more, because Grand Blues I consider one of the best ones, right? And I, I guess you don't like four of this, this is not like a four of, so maybe that's why. Um, but even chain rank rank address is, chain ranker shouldn't be that there should be better stuff out there, right? Should be better strides, right? Uh, your vet being like ten, I guess you don't need like four your vets too, so that's why they're that that cheap. So I guess all of these are like cheaper than the others because they're they're not that expensive. Uh, well, you don't need that many copies. But actually, the crit triggers are super valued. Like look at these crits, they're like seven seven ish eight ish eight ish for a crit for the stride crits. And there's technically getting... Well, Rolock. Rolock at 5. Yeah, Team Rolock. Yeah, so th these crit triggers are quite value when you think about it. Um, if you have, like, Prem Cole, I guess, and you have a bunch of crits around, you should be happy because, yeah, it's... They're technically not... You need you, 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 you need four of these. You, you should need four of these at least. And just being, like, crits, they come in everything. Um, actually, not bad. I, think, I guess we're heading to, like, the... The jank territory now, so yeah, okay. These, these just aren't that great strides anyway, so that's kind of it. Okay, there's like two cards I wanted to check uh, in 
in a, in premium. So Glenios is the first one. Uh, just want to see how much it is. But as you can see, basically they're all sold out. So if you want to build Glenios right now, you basically can't, right? None of these have been reprinted too. So if you want this, Omega Loop is pretty important. It basically wins games. Um, so it is, I guess this is okay too. But yeah, all sold out pretty much. You, oh no, this one you have the, the, the normal rarity, but you kind of need these two. And not being able to get these two means GG, so. Woo! Hmm, not great. The other one is Photon. Uh, Photon was like pretty much from a TD, I guess. But I know it came out in Galaxy Stargate, so uh, it should be okay. Uh, but you can see this, it's still $15. It's still $15 for a reprint, and the OG is just sold out. This used to be 20 bucks for the OG, but I guess the only real accessible way to get it now is through um, the... Like the the reprint, and that's like sixteen. This is like you kind of need photon now, simply because uh, you want like uh, it's one of the easier way to lock. So it doesn't require counterblast things like that. So, ooh, link jerker, link jerk plays feel bad, bro. Feel bad. Okay, we're at the promos. So look at these prices. This is for Mpix, right? Mpix. These are all sold, right? And these are in Australian dollars. Um, but look at these, look at these prices. It's 26 bucks with $15 postage for one Empix, right? One Empix. This one's like 38. This one's like $60 for one, right? These are all for one, I'm assuming, right? Only three as well on eBay. That's actually pretty insane. <laughs> dude, Macarite, $70 for Macarites. Are you for real, dude? This is $70 and then plus 15 more dollars for the shipping, right? So they're, they're basically, you're basically getting destroyed. Is this hollow? Like if you're paying 70 bucks for a hollow, no, it doesn't look like it's hollow. This one's the hollow one. This one's like 130. Oh. Oh. Imagine, imagine buying your pure light stuff, right? And then going, I need the PRs. How much are the PRs? And you're probably paying more for four copies of Macarite, then you are for your, the entirety of your deck. <laughs> okay, bear in mind, not everything has been sent out yet. So these are kind of pre, these are kind of just prices that are out in stock right now, which is not all the stocks. Uh, so yeah, the, it, it probably will go down in price a bit when everyone starts getting all their product, but it's meme prices for a reason, man. It's meme prices. For a eBay is a maybe we should just look at eBay from now. Screw TCG play. eBay seems like the home for all the meme prices because anything that's like crazy expensive will be definitely fine. You should just do eBay from now. Like, screw it. Anyway, guys, hope you guys get your product soon. Uh, we need you guys to crack stuff so these prices go down so I can buy more things. Um, especially, I kind of want more Macarites and Mpix, but so maybe I'm not, maybe I should just not bother. Maybe I should just not bother. Uh, yeah. I should just sell mine now and don't play Pure Light and, and like Magnolia at all. all right? And just, just cash in and hope, hope Bushi prints these out in another format. Like maybe give them out at tournaments, something like that. Or just, just print them out. Just, just print more, right? Print more. All right? Uh, anyway, that is it for this. Hope you guys like, hope you guys don't need to single some of these start cards. And if you do, don't single the expensive stuff. Otherwise, you'll have a hole in your pocket, right? Catch you guys later. See ya.